Toto, Steve Lukather says, you know all those rockers we've lost in the last few years? It's affected him and changed his perspective. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. I remember in 2016, we were just starting this channel and it seemed that I was doing a tribute obituary almost every week. That was a bad year and it hasn't gotten that much better in the last few years. Unfortunately, our rockers, classic rockers especially, I'm 58 years old. Most of my classic rockers that I love have at least 10 years on me. They're getting to that area where it's it's dangerous sometimes. Anything can happen. I talked to Steve Lukather about that. A lot of folks are passing away left, right, and center, like you said, almost every week. Oh, man. Uh, has that changed, your, yeah. that changed your perspective for the rest of your life? Absolutely. I've lost two of my best friends in the last two years. My best friends. This is not supposed to happen. I'm mean, In terms of that, I mean, I, I mean, look at, the, I've lost two brothers from the same band, from the same family. What are the odds of that? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, death is like a weekly event. People that I admire, people that I've worked with, uh, musical colleagues, uh, musical acquaintances, you know, even people that I've just shown up and done a solo for and split, they're dying left and right. Now maybe it's my age, and certainly it must be. I'm the people that I looked up to to a kid are in their 70s and maybe older. But I mean, I just spent, a, you know, a, a night with Ringo a few nights ago. Looks incredible and is every bit as spry as he ever was. So, and he takes very good care of himself and works at it. And that work has paid off. You know, him and his wife are in incredible shape and they're lovely people. I enjoy every moment I get to spend with them. But, uh, you know, uh, you can take care of yourself. And some of it is like, you know, listen, I guess the warranty's up at this point. <laughs> you know, uh, we're all living on borrowed time after 50. But, you know, being 60 years old doesn't look like 60 years old looked like when I was a kid. Like, yeah. if you live in Los Angeles, there are no old people. They're just people who have had the fat sucked out and the face changed and are wearing, dyed their hair and, you know, whatever. Hey, I dye my hair, but my hair is real, you know. <laughs> That's another thing that cracks me up. There was a rumor going around that I wear a wig, which I found hilarious because who would wear a wig that looks like this? But... Uh, <laughs> Someday, I mean, I've offered a million dollars to anybody that can get it off my head, but I will beat the shit out of them at the same time. <laughs> Since we were being a little nostalgic during the interview, I asked him about his take on technology and kids learning music now. Everything's so easy to learn now. You know, back in the old days, you had to really fight to learn these solos, you know. There was no, or find somebody older that knew how to play them, but that was rare because I was playing when I was such a young age, but... Uh, there's good and bad about all this availability of knowledge. Sometimes it's, uh, you know, I think the worst thing that happened to the world was 24-hour news because every moment you're being barraged with more bad news, you know. Mm -hmm. It can become addictive in spite of oneself, you know, that's the problem. Oh, listen, man, if you've ever lost your phone, you have the same feeling like when you've lost your kid at the mall. It's yeah. like we're all addicted to these little boxes whether we want to admit it or not. And I'm not so sure that's for the better of mankind. With the old Einstein quote, you know, when our technology surpasses our spirituality, we're in trouble. Well, welcome. His words have never been more truthful. Toto's tour is 40 trips around the sun. We'll have links to where you can pick up tickets in the description of this video. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music.